Okay, hello everyone. I am making another soap today. It's called Oatmeal Milk and Spiced Honey. And um, it's a very old soap. Um, I've made it quite a few times um, and I started making it years ago initially and it's always quite a popular soap. So I'll show you what I'm putting into it. So this is the oats at the side here and they've been ground up really really fine this is something that's um actually a product i buy called oat silk um similar to colloidal oatmeal it's got a very 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 fine texture it's used by um some people to um in whipped body butters basically to absorb the greasiness but i just use it in soap <coughs> excuse me and over here i've got ground nutmeg powder i've got ground clove powder and that is Saigon cinnamon powder. This is bentonite clay. Got my super fat here, and this is a mixture of raw organic cow butter and macadamia nut oil. Um, oops, <laughs> I'll take this off. It's pre-blended. My light's pre-blended, so I always put a bit of a warning on it. Um, this is my lye, which has been milk, uh, mixed with raw organic milk. And we order that down from a farm in Yorkshire because raw organic milk is illegal to sell um, in Scotland, which is kind of ridiculous considering cigarettes are legal to sell here. Okay, it's really good stuff. We have a lot of it. We give it to our kids. Um, we believe it's very, very healthy for you. But we order it up in bulk, so it's um, it's a bit too much to use for us. Even within a week, it can go off. It's because we order up a lot of litres. So what I do is, when it's fresh, I just um, freeze it. So this is um, this is I added the lye water to like frozen blocks of this. Um, and that's the way I do. I do. I when I'm milk, mixing my milk in, I do it in two ways. I do it with the whole thing, all milk, all the like the, the fluid content milk, and I will freeze the. I will freeze the milk when I'm doing it that way. Or sometimes what I do is I use water to mix up the lye, enough water so that the lye will dissolve. So at least a one-to-one -one ratio of water to lye, and then the rest of it I just use the like the rest of the fluid. Um, content I will use as milk and add it straight into the oils and that's so so much easier I use that uh, method quite a lot so that's about it oh and I'll show you what my fragrance oil is I'll open it up as well the fragrance oil is a mixture of lavender geranium benzoin and nutmeg so it's a very, very soft, um, sweet scent. It's got no kind of citrus or mint notes in it to kind of lift it up. So it's a very sweet scent. And I thought it was quite appropriate for something that's like a oatmeal milk and honey uh, soap. Right, and yes, my new blender. <laughs> I want to introduce you to my new stick blender. My other stick blender gave up the ghost, unfortunately. Um, as you may know, I've opened up a new brand called Mirage and I've been testing a lot, a lot of fragrance oils and they're so fickle and a lot of them, even though the manufacturer will write on, on the site that um, there's no acceleration, <laughs> these things accelerate and it can take you off guard and my, uh, my stick blender, I was actually using one uh, of these fragrance oils that was you know, the manufacturer said it didn't accelerate at all, but it did, and I was taken off guard, and my stick blender was stuck right in the middle. I had to like basically pry it out, and it cracked. And since then, it's just it's been its last legs, and it totally broke last time. So that's me done, and I am going to start making the soap. I forgot to mention that the honey is within the coconut, this is a coconut oil base, 100% coconut oil base, and the honey is mixed inside here, and I'm using a lot of honey, much more than I use usually, um, because 
this is the way like I've always made this soap. It's like mixing a lot of honey into it. Um, because of that, I'm a bit um, nervous as well because with the benzoin and the fragrance oil, with the fact that it's 100% coconut oil, with the fact that there's ground oatmeal, which is kind of sucks in uh, a lot of oils, and that got bentonite clay, which sucks in oils like crazy. You know, this soap has a really high chance of accelerating on me and thickening up. So I'm just going to be really, really careful. And I've got my mold right beside me just in case I need to act fast. And I'm also going to add in these things just at the start because there's no kind of pattern to this soap at all. It's just a simple soap with all these amazing ingredients in it. So I'll add that in. I'm going to add everything at the start apart from the bentonite clay because once I add this in, it's going to move. I know it's going to move really quick. This is such a nice um, stick blender because comparing it to my other one, it's so quiet. Like, my other one was so loud. I want to add in the fragrance soil. I can stick blend as much as I want right now because there's no lie added to it yet. So I'm going to stick blend quite a bit to get all this mixed in. Okay, so adding in my lime milk. Right, I'm going to give this a bit of a whiz first. This smells so spicy. Oof. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. <laughs> so I'm a bit afraid of adding that bentonite clay. Okay guys, because it moved so quickly, I just turned the video off and grabbed the mould and put it against the wall and it's actually kind of almost hardened up. Um, so I'm glad I was a bit prepared about, with that. I'm just going to decorate the top with a few of these spices, which is just nutmeg, clove and cinnamon and I'm going to get some whole oats and um, decorate the top as well. Okay, so that is the finished product. I'm just going to tidy up the sides. And it's just been decorated with whole organic oats and the spices I mentioned. And the spices are really strong. Um, even though this is scented with like a lavender geranium blend. Um, it's predominantly lavender geranium, so a wee bit of nutmeg in it and benzoin. It still smells very spicy because of the spice at the top and that's the first thing that you smell. But it's a very simple soap in its appearance, but a lot of good stuff inside. Okay, hello everyone. I have just unmoulded the oatmeal milk and spiced honey soap and it's very, very spicy. I thought I had got it all inside without any kind of problems, but there's been the, there's a bit of an issue on the side here that I'm going to have to clean up. But apart from that, it looks very, very nice. I like the speckled kind of look that it's got. 
on that kind of light brown shade. It does remind you of a type of breakfast type bar. So what I'm doing here now is like, I'm just going to use my multi bar cutter to mark the bars because this is my coconut oil base and it's far too hard to be cut. Um, it's 24 hours after I made it, so it needs, even if it wasn't 24 hours, to be honest, if it was even if it's a couple of hours afterwards, it's a bar that gets hard very quickly. So what I'm going to do is basically mark it at the points, oh, yeah, at the points where I'm going to cut it with my um, single wire cutter, so just slightly like this. And that gives me the indentations I need. Okay, so I've got my single wire cutter over and let's see what we've got. So, oops, should keep it straight. Oh, that's a bit. So, look. <laughs> so not much to see, to be honest. It's just a very simple bar. I'll cut a few of the pieces. Oh, not sure what that is. It might be a, like a heat tunnel or something. <laughs> it's quite unusual, isn't it? Okay, so I'll cut one more. This is very hard soap. This base always has a nice firm feel to it. I think we do have a bit of a heat tunnel in the middle, which looks quite cool actually. Okay, so I'm just going to cut up the rest of that and give it a bit of a tidy get my stamp on it and I'll take some nice pictures for the end.